Hey YouTube, thank you so much and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 of my favorite items for your infant's eczema prone skin. If you've been following my journey, then you know that T3 has been battling with eczema and cradle cap, but I am pleased to say that he is completely done with the cradle cap. He does not have any cradle cap, but the eczema does still come and go. So I have about 10 items here that works well for his skin one of them are is a prescription the other nine you can get over the counter so if you're interested in this video then please keep on watching all right so the first item that i have here is by the brand mustella and this is the nourishing lotion with cold cream it's for the dry skin i have this is kind of a new item but I've really been loving the Mustella products. They have different lines for different types of skin. Like they have one for eczema prone skin and they have one for dry skin. Then they have one for sensitive skin. And they also have one for normal skin. So this particular one is for dry skin. And like I said, it is a cold cream. And it's very nourishing. And it strengthens him. It keeps him moisturized for a longer period of time. Um, I'm not going to go through all of the ingredients, but the ingredients are very good. And one thing that I like about all of these products, they all have the um, eczema approved stamp on the box. This one does not have it on the actual product, but it does have it on the box, which lets you know that the um, National Association of Eczema has approved this product. So I really like this. While we're on the brand Mustella, um, I'm just going to show you the bath oil it goes along with the cold cream so what usually what i do when i give him a bath i usually will run his water and then i'll put a little bit of the bath oil in and that's the second product that i got and then <clears throat> i'll give him a good bath i usually don't leave him in the bathtub for more than 10 minutes um the dermatologists recommend that you don't leave him in the bathtub a long time because it will dry his skin out so the bath oil will help nourish him while he's in the tub he seems to respond to it very well so um as you can see we're using it up pretty good and it does go pretty fast if you, you'll spray out a lot if you're not careful but a little bit does goes a long way and then also while he's in the bath i usually will wash him with this this is the nourishing cleansing gel with cold cream and again this is the dry skin line it looks like this I will put all of the products um, in the description box below if you want to go purchase them. But um, that these three items, they are all they're all one line, and I think you can yeah you can purchase them separate. But I purchased them all together, and um, like I said, they work really well for his skin. So the next item that I want to talk about is another bath oil and it's another micellar brand but except for this one it is the one for extremely dry skin and eczema prone skin so this is the pretty much the same item as the one before but except this one is the eczema line as you can see the different colors right here the green is the eczema prone skin, the yellow is the dry skin, the red is sensitive skin, and like the blue is the normal skin. But this one is the eczema prone skin. So some days whenever he's having flare ups, instead of using the dry skin one, I'll put the um, eczema prone bath oil in. And it usually helps along with his cream to calm his skin down. So that's another one that I really, really, really like. Then following up with the bath oil, this is the emollient cream. It's the um, Mustela brand as well. And this one is just a cold cream you put on after you get out of the tub. It's just something, it's a little bit thicker than the uh, regular lotions because this is for eczema as well. This is the eczema line. So I really, really like it. And check it out. Looks like this. I keep one at home and I also keep one in his bag because sometimes when we're out and about, he tend to get a little dry and I'll just whip this out and put it on him and it works really, really well. I think this is my most favorite product out of all the products. Um, I was so relieved when I discovered this item. My dermatologist recommended it to us and it has been working well ever since. We're on our second jar and it is the CeraVe Itch relief moisturizing cream and it is steroid free so your kid can use it 
your kid can't use it for a long period of time this stuff is great this helps him at night he tends to itch really bad in the back of his head so he'll lay on the pillow and he'll just do this motion here and then whenever i apply this to the back of his head it usually calms him down really well and he going on off to sleep but very good item out of all of the products that i have here this one is my most favorite because like i said you can use it for long periods of time and you can lose use it multiple times a day so it is steroid free so love it it's a little bit pricey but if your kid has eczema like mine then you'll know it is worth the money so and you can find this pretty much anywhere walgreens cvs walmart anywhere so my this is my favorite out of all of the products and you need it in your life especially if your baby itches on a daily basis get you some piggybacking off of that I know if you've ever been to a dermatologist, they'll tell you that ointments are better than creams. Ointments is the best thing. But during the summer months, you know, you don't want to get that greasy feel. It's annoying. It's y'all greased up and shining. It gets aggravating. So if you don't want to use the ointment, you can use the itch moisturizing cream that I showed you. But this is the best kind for eczema and for dry skin, the ointments. They always say that ointments are the best form to put on your baby's skin or on just your skin in general. So we also have this one by CeraVe and it is the healing ointment. It's just a little clear, looks kind of like Vaseline, just a little clear um, moisturizer and it is really, really good. It This one protects and soothes dry, cracked and chafed skin and it does really, really well. The only thing, like I said, it, it is very, very greasy. So sometimes your baby can get a little agitated with you and if it's hot, hot, it makes you kind of sweaty like. So I don't think he's quite a fan of this, the way he is, the way he responds to the moisturizing cream, but this is the better product for his skin. So usually what happens is if we're going out and about in the sunlight or whatever, I'll put him on the moisturizing itch lotion. And then at night when he goes to bed, I'll put on this. All right, so the next one is a CeraVe product as well, but it is the CeraVe Baby brand, and it's the washing shampoo. Basically what I use, what I do with this one is I just wash his hair. This is, I don't put the, I don't know why they told me that I could, but I don't put the um, adult CeraVe on his hair. I use the baby kind because it's tear free and um, his skin, his hair responds to it really well along with the olive oil. I'm still using olive oil that hasn't changed. I only use just a little bit, maybe once a week, being that his cradle cap is completely cleared up, but I still do use it. But every day i use this and i just put a little bit lather his head up really good and then rinse it out and then i follow it up with the um palmer's cocoa olive oil so but yes this is a must have and looks like this i love it i love it love, love it as you can tell i've used i don't know if you can tell in the camera but i've used a good bit of this as well it is worth repurchasing And then I also have this baby healing ointment. Like I said, it's pretty much the same thing. It's pretty much the same thing as the adult healing ointment. It's just they make a baby brand. I bought both. I use both. I like both. But they're pretty much the same thing. One is for adults. One is for babies. But if you ask me personally, this one works the best. This one for adults works best on my child. But they do have it in the um in the baby line. So I have that one as well. And I also have wipes. And the one that I use is the water wipes. As you can see, the water wipes also have the stamp of approval, the eczema, and I have never used anything other than water wipes. I remember when I was when I was pregnant in my last trimester, I was researching different wipes and all, and I come across that a lot of people on YouTube use the water wipes because they have the less chemical in them. And so I was very happy that I went ahead and went with that um, because whenever we discovered that my child had eczema, we took him to the dermatologist. That's the first thing that the dermatologist recommended was water wipes. So I was already using that, and they have been working well ever since. Again, it's another pricey item. It's way more pricier than Huggies or Pampers or regular wipes, but 
it's worth it. it it keeps you know it keeps your baby's skin clean and dry and I, like I said I use it for wiping his hands and his face as well but they weren't really good so I would encourage you well, every time I've ever went to Walmart they've only had the pack of three for like $14 uh, so if you like to use them and you want to continue to use them I would encourage you to get on Amazon I think Amazon has um, a big box for like $39 or something like that but just about every time I've ever went into Walmart, they don't never have the big case. They just have the row of three for like $14. So I would say instead of getting the, the three pack, go ahead and get on Amazon or you can get on Walmart.com and get the big box. So really, really like these. These help keep, keep down flare ups. All right, the last product that I have is a prescription ointment, and this is basically what we use whenever he had flare-ups and the water wipes and the CeraVe and Mustela products are just not working because even though you use all of this stuff, your child will still have flare-ups. They will have something, something will make them flare up, whether it's uh, a shirt or a pair of pants or you know anything that you have or someone could be holding them who does not wash their clothes and free and clear and I didn't talk about that but that is a that is a good product as well I didn't bring in the all free and clear to wash his clothes in but uh, they have flare-ups regardless of anything that you use that that's just gonna happen that's what eczema is so the dermatologist gave us this destinite looks like this ointment and it's 0.5 percent and this is what we use we don't use it every single day we use the um over-the-counter products to kind of manage it and then when he have a flare-up we put this on and you can put this on um twice a day for an extended period of time we were using hydrocortisone cream but the dermatologist said that we can only use it for like one to two weeks at a time and back then it wasn't working because he was flaring up left and right i mean he was having a flare up every single day for weeks and so when we ended up going back we told him like you know we we need something that's gonna last a lot a lot longer than the hydrocortisone cream where you can only use it for two weeks we need something that we can use for an uh, extended period of time and the dermatologist recommended this and it has been working really really well so I would encourage you to if you are battling with eczema and you've never tried this just ask your dermatologist about it and see if they can get you some of this because it is bomb um like I said a couple other things that those were my top 10 items but a couple other things that I said I like is the we use all free and clear to wash his clothes in. I will put a picture somewhere on the screen because like I said I didn't bring it in. I didn't add it to my top 10 products which it should have been. But we wash all of his clothes in all free and clear. We don't let him wear anything brand new. I made that mistake not too long ago and he flared up so bad. I felt so so bad. I don't know what I was thinking. I just figured maybe I was trying to see if maybe you know he had grew out of it I don't know I don't know bad mistake don't do that but um we watched all of his clothes socks onesies everything and all free and clear and like I said for diapers we use the Huggies snug and dry they've been working really well for him so those are the products that we use for his eczema so if there's anything that you would recommend or think I should try that you use for your baby and it works please let me know I'm always open um, for suggestions just in case something doesn't work or just in case something stopped working for my baby but as of right now those products work well we have been controlling his eczema pretty well everything's been going good he's not very agitated at night things are starting to look on the up and up so that those are my items that I'm really really loving at the moment so if you like this kind of videos, then please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's totally free and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload videos. I'm going to continue to do these mommy style videos. I'm noticing that I'm getting a lot of positive feedback on mommy style videos, which looking back, if you would have said a year from now, a year ago, you're going to be doing mommy videos, I would have laughed. But now it seems like that is all that I'm doing and I'm loving it because so many people have babies, so many people are having babies, and so many people's babies have skin problems. So I'm, I'm, I'm really loving putting out these videos. The next video that I do is probably going to be the three month update, which I'm having to write down stuff because he has had so much going on within. <laughs> 
the three months um he's now officially four months on the 18th he became four months but we got a lot of stuff to cover as far as the three months because he's got a lot going on so good and bad but we're gonna work through it that's just motherhood so again thank you all for watching this video and if you like please 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 hit the like button and subscribe and i will see you all in my next video